So for this problem, it's asking us, well, it says solve the problem. Find m so that x plus 4 is a factor of 5x cubed plus 18x squared plus mx plus 16. So they want, to fi they want us to figure out what this m is equal to. All right, so what the coefficient of x to the first power is equal to, given that x plus 4 is a factor of this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use synthetic division to help us figure this out. Now, they said that x plus 4 is a factor. So in order to really know what the 0 is and what we're going to be using to test, we need to remember that if x plus 4 is a factor, so we set this equal to 0, so what x really is equal to is x is equal to negative 4. So it's negative 4 that we're going to test when we use synthetic division. So this is what that's going to look like. So we're going to use negative 4. And remember, when we do synthetic division, we use the coefficients of all of our terms in our function. So that would be a 5, an 18, the m, which we're trying to figure out, and a 16. Right, so if negative 4 is a factor of this, remember we want to get 0 here in the final spot because that's what's going to let us know that this indeed is a factor of this function. <coughs> so let's see if we can figure this out. So let's drop down 5. In synthetic division, we then do 5 times negative 4, which is negative 20. And then we add this column here, 18 plus negative 20 is a negative 2. And then we repeat this, negative 2 times negative 4 is an 8. Now this is where we have to pause a little bit. So we need to figure out, so m, so what plus 8, right, is going to give us this magic number down here that when we multiply it by negative 4, it's going to give us something here that's going to zero this out. So let's maybe backtrack here. Oh, let's go from the end result what we want and see if we can work our way up to what we need. So in order for this to equal zero, remember that we're adding the columns, right? So 16 plus what is going to be zero? Well, 16 plus negative 16 would give us zero. And remember that this negative 16 comes from multiplying this number down here times the negative 4, right? So negative 4 times what gives us a negative 16? Well, negative 4 times 4 would be negative 16, right? So I need this addition here to be a 4. So then we need to think what plus 8 is going to equal 4, right? So what plus 8 is equal to 4. All right, we can write a little mini equation here to help us out if we want. All right, and if we subtract 8 on both sides, I get that x is equal to negative 4. So let's test this and see if this is indeed going to give us what we need. So I'm going to erase what we just put in over here. All right, so let's test this and let's say if m is equal to negative 4, is this going to work? So let's see. So we did the negative 2 times negative 4 to give us a positive 8, and we add this column. So we need to add this. Negative 4 plus 8 is equal to a positive 4. Then we need to multiply, right? So 4 times negative 4 is a negative 16. And when we add this, we do get a 0. So indeed, negative 4 is a factor of this function. So that means that m must equal negative 4 in order for this to be true. Otherwise, that's it for this video.